Welcome. It's Acoustic Paradiso. That was fun to play with Pete again. It's been a while. Um, I'm here today with two of Martin's most popular signature models, and it's it's a bit of a treat, really. They're both based on the uh, Trebolo body shape, and this side I've got the Trebolo 28EC, the Eric Clapton model, and this side I've got the OMJM, which is the John Mayer signature model. There's a lot of similarities between the two, but we're going to go um, age before beauty and start with the Clapton model. So, this has got, there's quite a lot of similarities between the two guitars, um, but we're going to focus on the differences in, in this, uh, this video. So they're both East Indian rosewood back and sides. This one has got the Sitka spruce top, um, as opposed to the Engelman spruce top. The main difference between these two, um, when you pick them up, is the scale length, because this is the kind of more traditional trebolo neck length, or well, scale length of 24.9 inches, whereas this is the 25.4. Concentrating on the EC model for a minute, this is kind of more vintage in feel and spec. It's got a bigger neck. This is the, uh, the modified V-neck, which feels really comfortable if you like a V-neck, which I do, so <laughs> I'm in hog heaven, really. Um, the nut width on here is one and three quarter inches, so it's a bit wider than the, the JM model, but I'm going to play some stuff on it and um, see, see what happens and then go into some more of the differences, I think. So here we go. <laughs> Um, I'm a big fan of uh, shorter scale lengths and acoustic guitars anyway, and I love this. I think it's just, it's just wonderful. Um, this one has got the, uh, it's X-braced and has a traditional dovetail neck joint, um, scalloped braces, all that kind of thing. Uh, mahogany neck on here with an ebony, ebony fingerboard, and the retail price on this one is 3575 so... Um, yeah, 3,575 pounds. It's got the open back tuners with the butter bean uh, machine heads, and it's just glorious, really. I love the herringbone inlay. I really like, um, you may have noticed the aesthetic differences. This one's got a different shaped uh, scratch plate to, to, the, to the JM model. There's not much in it, but I think I prefer this one. But, uh, but there we go. So I'm gonna switch, switch over to the, to the John Mayer model now, and we'll have a look at some of the differences there. So this is the, tre the OMJM, and it's the Trebolo body shape again, same as here, but the orchestra model, so it's got the longer scale length of 25.4 inches, which makes you know, quite a difference to the feel and also the tone of the guitar. It has a different neck profile as well. This is the low profile neck, um, which is, you know, it's lower profile. <laughs> the clue's in the name. It's a lot thinner, um, and the nut spacing is a little bit tighter. This is 1 and 11 sixteenths at the nut here. So it's, it's kind of narrower all the way down. You know, neck shape and profile is really a matter of personal choice. I think, personally, I prefer the Clapton, but this one is a really comfortable neck. Really, you can get the, the kind of, the access all the way up is, re is really comfortable on it. It doesn't get too, too fat or in the way. This one has an Engelman spruce top as opposed to um, a Sitka spruce top. But other than that, um, mahogany neck, ebony board, East Indian rosewood back and sides. So I'm going to play uh, something on here, and then I'm going to do some comparisons um, using the magic of editing to play the same thing on both guitars and cut between the two so you can hear the difference. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, the other important thing that this has that this one does not as standard is a pickup. This one comes with the Martin Gold Plus pickup. Um, whereas the Clapton model doesn't come with the pickup as standard, but there are many options you can have fitted aftermarket. So there we go, that's both of these models, the uh, Treble 28 EC and the OMJM for Eric Clapton and John Mayer respectively. Let us know which you prefer in the comments below. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and um, check out all of the things in the links. I'm gonna leave you with another jam with me and Pete. See you next time.